Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing you a brand new video, and today I'm bringing you guys the 1.07 Infinite Warfare patch notes. Now, before this video starts, if you guys do enjoy or dislike the video, hit that like or dislike button. Subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos. Sorry, I just woke up, so if I sound tired. And thank you guys so much for over 50 likes on yesterday's video. But anyway, let's get into it. The article that I'm getting my information from will be linked down in the description, so I highly recommend that you guys go check that out. It has all the patch notes. I'm only going to cover most of the patch notes like the most important stuff but anyway this update brings a lot of new quartermaster content and it includes mark 2 weapons that get 15% XP bonus for each kill so you're gonna be leveling up faster with those weapons and there's also over a hundred camos accessories and more being added players can now change classes with up to five seconds after the pre-match has started so five seconds after the match started you can still switch weapons so that's really a huge insertion destroy like you only had a few seconds to switch your classes like within the rounds but now you have five extra seconds so that's pretty useful also Private and custom matches are now invite only, so we no longer have to worry about random people joining our UMG and GB matches. Now let me tell you guys, there are a lot of bug fixes. There's no way I can sit here and go through all the bug fixes because I don't even know what these bug fixes are. Like I've never even heard of a lot of these things. So if you want to see every single bug fix, like I said, go to the article below. But audio adjustments for louder impact sounds when being shot. So when you're being shot, the actual sound of the bullet hitting you is going to be louder. And also there's a fix for friendly players not appearing on the minimap when manually controlling their RC8. Leaderboards are still not up. It's January 11th and leaderboards are still not up, so I don't know what the deal with that is. But you can also start CWL private matches without being on cost without the host being on Codcasters, so that's really helpful. For zombies in face Faceland, I can't speak. I'm too tired. I'm sorry, guys. For zombies in Spaceland, there are various bug fixes and select epic weapons that weren't working properly in Pack a Punch have been fixed. In Codcaster, they actually moved the objective status to the top of the screen. They fixed an issue where killstreak iconography would overlap with UI, which I've seen that before. Size adjustments to the minimap, I'm not sure if they made it bigger or not. Added the ability for the caster to back out of CWL draft in, pro in progress. I can't read, man. And that's pretty much the main stuff for Codcaster. Like I said, there's a ton of bug fixes, so this update is actually around 1.5 gigabytes. But if you guys did enjoy, I highly encourage anybody who's new to go check out my other videos. I do a lot of helpful videos. Subscribe if you are new. And don't forget to hit that like button. Let's try to hit 50 likes. Subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos. But I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.